guys, it's Landon Blake from Refine Horizons, and I think I'm going to do a set of videos today uh, that shows you kind of how to put together a land title survey. I'm going to, I'm going to break this up into some shorter videos, show you the different parts. I think that's the that's the master plan. Um, this isn't going to be perfect. You know, the, the drawings probably need some, some changes to the styles and the templates need a little bit of cleanup, but uh, so this is going to be a little rough and tumble, but I, I thought it'd be good to get get something recorded. Uh, this should uh, really help my uh, my cat ninja, Elena. We're trying to push her a little bit so she can be more than just a cat ninja. So she can be a boundary ninja too. So in this video, what I would like to show you guys is how to take what we call a search drawing and turn it into um, our, our uh, what we call our base drawings, which is a line work drawing, a boundary boundary line work drawing and a, and a boundary anno drawing or annotation drawing that we're going to ultimately use in the in the land title survey and you'll if I get far enough in the video series you'll see that so this is the search drawing that you can see on the screen here it's just the record line work so this is our subject parcel here uh, with the record line work that just came off the this is on a parcel map so we just code the parcel map uh, that is not a fully resolved boundary <laughs> it's what we call a record boundary and uh, it just was placed on the GIS aerial to give us some rough stakeout points and uh, then this has just got the Bing imagery in the background uh, and, and we don't even really use these stakeout coordinates in the field more than anything we just we're trying to get a rough idea of where this is located geographically on the area so we can get an idea of what to search for and uh, we actually we found a bunch of these so we found eight um, all these ones over here on Baseline Road have been blown out by the county, but uh, we were able to find the rest of them. We didn't end up looking for these two. We didn't need them. So, uh, anyways, I want to show you how to how to convert this into a uh, to a boundary line work drawing. And so, what I'm going to uh, go ahead and do is uh, I've got this uh, now. This is called boundary boundary line work working. So we we call our drawings working uh, when they're kind of in progress, and then we call them final when they're all done. And uh, I actually am going to save a copy of this because this is actually the search drawing. So I just save that as, as my search drawing and then uh, I'm going to go open up that working drawing. So uh, we're actually going to be in the working drawing. And I don't need these quick plots. I can get rid of those layouts. Okay, so this is what our, our this is what we start with on our search drawing, at least when we have a, a record map to use. And what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to import our uh, found monuments, and then we're going to get this line work here in the right spot. It's already a block, uh, which is cool. It's on the block layer. So, um, and act I'm actually going to get rid of these search points because I don't want them in this drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to import our found monuments. That's kind of step one, and I want to make sure I do that on the right layer. So we have this survey boundary points property corners found. That's the layer that we want to use. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll make that current. Then we're going to go to points on our menu. Import points. Import points. And uh, we'll go find our file. Okay, which at my shop we keep all of our point files or export into the uh, export folder of the TBC project. So I'm going to go into field control working TBC working export and look for all files. Here's my CSV. I'm going to open that. I'm going to tell AutoCAD this is in point northing elevation description format. And I'm going to go ahead and, and import, and you can see uh, because we have our description keys set up, they automatically get put into the right point groups. And uh, there's my monuments. So uh, not too shabby. We were we were fairly close to where we expected to be. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I was actually out there, so I got to find some of these mons. <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to uh, just basically 
anchor or, or translate and then rotate this map to where we want it uh, because I'm going to basically hold hold record if it fits the monuments reasonably well, which I, I suspect it's going to. Um, so I'm not I'm not going to rubber band any of these distances. Uh, there's some other issues on this survey which you guys will see. So for for now I'm going to put this in per record if I can get a good fit to the mons. Now, when we kogo this map, I would have done this a little bit differently, actually on the map kogo because uh, I, I would have I would have broken up these distances. And in fact, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open this up in the block editor, and uh, these overall distances I'm going to break up to where we have the monuments. So to do that, I need the I need the record map. So I'm going to go get the record map open here. Okay, so here's the record map, and I know my first distance here down this west line is nine nine or east line. I'm sorry, is nine ninety one fifty. So what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just draw a circle, 991.5, okay, and I'm going to run the break command to break this line. I'm going to click F for first point, okay, so now I've got that first 991.50 segment, okay, I think our next one is also 990, yeah, 991.50 again. Okay, so we'll break it. Sorry, break this. Okay, so there's our next piece. Then we got one more. So we're going to break it again here, this line. Okay, and then I've got this last piece. We'll just check the distance on that. Should be 725.32, and it's pretty close. So it's it's within a tenth. There's some uh, rounding there going on, but uh, for now I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'm gonna just pause the video real quick and, and break up these other segments like I need. Let me just show you guys this. Uh, this this bottom piece here is actually in three even segments. You can see 771.72. So if you get something like that, you can actually use the divide command. And enter your length. Oh, I'm sorry, divide needs the number of segments. So you can say three segments. And what's it gonna what it's gonna do is create points there. And then you can go in and break your line at those points. So uh, that's a little bit of a shortcut if your if your lines divided into even segments there that I wanted to show you. So now I've got my uh, I've got my three even segments now. Okay, guys. So I've got this uh, broken up now uh, into my segments that I want. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to um, we're going to anchor this map from this endpoint here. To the node here of this found monument okay and then we want to rotate can okay, generally you want your two rotation parts to be as far apart as you can so I'm going to use this one 513 and 526 all right and we're gonna pick our endpoint here and I'm going to rotate to there. Okay, now that that's not a great result. Um, I can just tell that's off. So let's see how. And this happens sometimes. Like I didn't script this, guys. So <laughs> so let's see how far this is off. So we're going to do a dim from there. All right. So I got 16 feet there. So something's up. Uh, my map closes. So I'm guessing there there's an issue with that monument. Um, now I know this monument in particular was a reset mod. So I don't know. I might be having an issue there. Let's see how we. How we hit uh, 525 looks a little closer. Yeah, no, 10 feet. So that's eh, not great. Let's come over here and see how we uh, how we hit 505. Yeah, that's not giving me a snap in the right spot. 
Yeah, so I might be having an issue here. So we're going to try something a little bit different. So if, if, you, you, if you're missing stuff a lot like that, then there might be a problem with your anchor point. So we're going to try something a little different here. And this is kind of a trial and error thing, you know. So we're going to move the map to this monument, 525. And then we're going to rotate to 526. Now again, those those are really close together, so I don't love that, but we're just we're just messing around here to see what kind of fit we can get. So Alright, so it looks like we got a really good fit between these two mons. So let's check it. Alright, so eh, it's not great. Uh, 1.53 feet. Uh, so it could be a little a little better. Um, and as you can see, as soon as I do that, as soon as I hold that rotation, this this whole map gets way skewed. So uh, that's probably not great. So we're okay for distance there, but again, this is a reset mod, so I don't know what might be going on there. All right, we're going to try and rotate over to this monument 514 here. All right, and that again, that looked like a pretty good fit. So let's let's see how that fit. Let me try that again. So I'm um, just so you guys know what I'm doing here. I'm snapping from the node to the endpoint of the line. All right, that's a little more like it. So we got 2,800s here. So these two mons are good. Um, so this monument looks like is out. Um, and we'll check our raw data, make sure we didn't mess something up there. But I know physically that that's about where the monument was because I, I can remember it in reference to that levy. And these all look good. These are all online, but I think I might have got, I might have messed up on my distances here. So I got to go check that. All right, so uh, let me pause the video. I'm going to come in here and take a quick look at these, and then uh, then we'll see how we fit these monuments on this side. Okay, guys, I, I messed up. I had this split into three segments, and it should have been four, so my endpoint should be a little closer now. So let's see how we hit these mons as we move up this line. So again, we're just going to go from node to endpoint. Okay, so 3,200's there. Endpoint to node 2700s and node to endpoint. Okay, and I got two mons here. This is a monument mark and a utility easement. This is the actual monument mark in the property corner. So you want to make sure I want to make sure I grab the right one there. So node to endpoint. So we're pretty consistently off three tenths there. We're off about three tenths there, and that that's when I anchored to. Uh, let's see, we anchored here and rotated here. So what that means when you see a consistent shift like that is, you should try changing your. Um, you should try changing your rotation point. I'm trying. I can't remember. Did I? No, I anchored here, so we're going to change it. We're going to anchor to 514 instead, and then you'll see these distances are about to get a lot better. So I'm going to say move that endpoint to the node here. Okay, that should go to zero. Okay, and then uh, we're going to ro rotate again. Oop. Okay, we're going to rotate from this endpoint over to this node. Okay, and now, um, okay, so these these got better, right? So they didn't go they didn't go away, but they're better than they were. So it's a little better fit when I hold five for fourteen versus five twenty five. All right, so and this mon's just still still out, but uh, the rest of these are fitting pretty good. Okay. These are monuments on a right-of-way, so I'll, I'll check that in a, in a minute. But 
All right, so I basically got this map where I want. I'm going to stop this video because I'm, I'm over. I try and keep them to about 10 minutes. And then uh, I'm going to come in and show you uh, what we do next steps to kind of make this into a, a boundary line work drawing.